My name is Delano Williams and I live here in Kingston, Tennessee. This is one year later. As everybody else has remembered, TVA contributed a great deal to Kingston in the past. The coal burned, the smokestacks steam did their jobs, but the results was terrible. It was a disaster. People began to get sick. The land began to dwindle away with the, life, with the livestock. The water is undrinkable. Some of the people act as if it's okay. Um, we're cleaning it up. We're doing the best we can. But the reality is people are homeless. They're stuck with medical bills. They're stuck with disclosures where they can't explain exactly how much money they got to relocate. Some of those that are still there are being waited out. They're waiting out to see if they're going to get sick or like we're in some kind of pastry jar where the scientists at Oak Ridge and other places want to experiment with our skin, our blood, the levels of lead, mercury, arsenic, mercury, and selenium, beryllium, and the rest of the side effects that happen with the coal. But the reality is our children, the ones who once played in the water can no longer play. The ones that used to hydroplane and boat can no longer do those things in the beautiful land of East Tennessee. I'm originally from a more urban area, but when I came here to relax, it was a beautiful country. Now the landscape has changed. My family has been devastated. The other family members I have here been born here and raised. They too want to give TVA another chance. But it's been a year, and no one has come to our community, period. They've been basically doing the things that will allow them to look good. These slides and shows only just show the work that they have done. Not saying that the work has stopped. It's still going on, and it will go on. You're looking at 5.4 million gallons of ash. You're looking at seven miles of disaster, which is... I don't know, just something that I would like to protect my family from. Everyone doesn't have the ability to move. Everyone doesn't have the money to move. And those of us who still survive here are doing our best to keep our health together, not get depressed, and allow some kind of sanity to jump into the people to understand that their children's children will be affected. The roads are no longer possible in some areas, nor is it allowed to help some people. It's a difficult thing to explain. Tennesseans have always been honorable people. We used to believe in a handshake and a man's word. We'd always get them through, but times have changed, things have changed. People haven't changed. It's just big business. Everyone wants to fit in, but where can you fit into a town? when it's been quarantined from toxic waste. TVA is waiting on the EPA to tell them that once again, mercury, arsenic, selenium, beryllium, and nickel are toxic. But everybody know that it is. These are some of the night shots too. They're very important because most of the ash that's floating, it comes from night. The trucks run down the road and leave it on the streets of the city. No one wants to talk about how it's still blowing, but we're here. They're safe. And once again, if we can't benefit, at least let our children live. Don't kill them in the name of science. And don't let this situation just wander away. Thank you for your time, your patience, and getting a chance to view what we live with every day. God bless.